Hi, this is Jeremiah with Personify. Today, we're going to cover the Chrome Cam application, best practices and functions and features. So first thing we want to do is have the application running in the background. And this is usually called up through setting whatever video calling software that you're using, setting Chroma Cam as the active camera. This is key because whenever you turn on that video calling application, it will bring up the Chroma Cam app that's just waiting to be called. Once you've done that, it should be active. And I'm just using this video calling application to give you a better view of what's going on. That said, within the Chroma Cam app, you also have a preview that can be turned on at any time. And as you can see, it's the same image as uh, you're seeing in the video calling app. So it gives you sort of a preview of what's going on. Inside Chroma Cam, you're going to see the background settings. This is the most common place you're going to find yourself using Chroma Cam. And inside, you'll see I have a lot of different backgrounds that I've loaded in myself. You're going to start with a few default backgrounds, and then you'll need to build up your inventory. Just going through your photos or uh, finding uh, good backgrounds on the web, a simple Google search will give you unlimited access. That said, if you want to add a new background, it's easy enough. You just use the plus sign here. You click on that. That will open up the very last directory that you used in order to load photos or images from. And then just pick one uh, that uh, you'd like to use and hit the open. And you'll see that has now been added to my backgrounds. So now I'm on vacation. Other than the backgrounds, you also have filters. Now filters are a little different than backgrounds. They also cut out your persona from the background and replace it with uh, a filtered version of that background. For example, if I use this color here, it shows you my background, but it's been de-emphasized and colored through a filter. You can still see the objects in my background. You see things are a little messy back here. But if I use this one, this is the blur filter. Now the blur filter is useful for obscuring details. So you can still see my background, but you also can't see any details on images. So anything confidential that you might be wanting to keep uh, separate. If I go back to backgrounds, I can select a new background. A very useful feature that you're going to find is the slides feature. Now this will let you load a PowerPoint presentation into Chroma Cam and display the slides in that presentation as a background. Now this is really useful obviously in this way. Now you can see that the slide has become a lot more interesting because I am now a part of the slide and you're not just getting some uh, boring numbers and, and uh, graphs. You can see that there are different positions that you can put your persona in based on uh, what slide format you're using. It is important to format your slides when building your presentation in order to accommodate the proper positioning for your persona, which can be changed right here. So I can change my size and uh, position as necessary. I will tell you that uh, it is important to have Office with PowerPoint installed on the computer. If I go back and select a new background, I can now go into the logo section. In the logo section, you'll see I can load in a choice of logo. In this case, I am using the Personify logo. And I can turn that logo on and you can see the logo is, is there. Now, if I need to move the position and size of the logo, I can also do that right here so that I can go bottom left or top right. And I can also change the logo size and increase the size. If we go back to filters and I set my filter as a background, on the settings tab, you'll see there's a blur setting here. Now this, I can increase and decrease the blur setting. So that's a very useful feature. And you've also got maximum frames per second. So depending on the speed of your CPU and your computer, you may have to adjust the frame rate for best results. 
I have in here uh, a background removal uh, switch so I can actually turn background removal off and on right there and you can also set which camera you're using we can see in the settings tab that I have backlight correction in backlight correction uh, is used with compatible cameras that will allow you to compensate for lighting behind you we also have the ability to check for updates if you need to see if you have the most recent version of chroma cam installed click that button in the about section it will tell you if there's an update available if you need support from personify we'll be glad to help you just click the help center and it will take you to not only an faq but it will also give you the ability to reach out to support i hope this video was helpful thanks for joining me today